Hi guys, this is going to be a haul. I got a couple of stuff from the Sephora um, like card um, sale that they had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, basically, you get 20% off everything um, in mm. stores or online. I don't know if you've been to like the 20% off sales in the stores itself, but it can get pretty crazy. Like, I didn't really have anything specific that I wanted to get in the store but I did have some specific items that I wanted to get online and, and they actually just launched their website not too long ago. So they do carry brands online that they don't have in the stores. I think they do like a tie up with Luxola if I'm not mistaken but I wanted to get a couple of stuff online so I decided to get them and they're in this little package here. Um, I did expect, I, I don't know why but I kind of expected the products to actually come in a box or you know something a little bit nicer than this you know this looks more like you know what I would get if I were to get stuff from sing sale for example so anyway I didn't want to wait any further so I want to show you the goodies that I got um, so the inside looks like that and um, everything looks pretty much like bubble wrapped and all that so I'm pretty excited I got apparently three things from Zoeva um, one is the pink spectrum something. Oh, I got blush palette. So the pink spectrum, the coral spectrum, and the cool spectrum. So, right. Okay, let me show you the one I have here first, which is the cool spectrum eyeshadow palette. Oh, interesting. So it looks like this. It's kind of like a. Um, it has like a very nice velvety finish to the box. It looks. It feels really cool. It looks really cool as well with that holographic um, thing. Ah, nice. So this is how the palette looks like. It's one of those cardboard material palettes that just kind of opens up like that. And it has like that same texture, um, kind of matte and kind of velvet. Um, I do worry about this though because I think it's going to get dirty very easily. It's kind of like the NARS palette that they have. So I'm not a big fan of that. It looks cool. I know that like maintenance wise it's going to be a bitch. So um, I can actually already see like a lot of glitter around it already. So anyway. I'm gonna open it up. It has like a little magnetic um, clubs there and ooh pretty. So this is the cool palette and um, this is how it looks like right there. I decided to get this one although um, I usually go for like the more um, warmer colors so I, just, I decided to get this anyway because I wanted to try something different and I definitely wanted to try the um, quality of the Zoeva uh, palette so that's the eyeshadow palettes they do have different like colors and different names no it's not names it's actually just numbers um, let's talk about the pink spectrum first so it looks similar to the palette, same packaging, all that. I, it's quite sad because I kind of already can see it getting dirty here. It looks the same and this is kind of how it looks like there. It's, like, it's just a very nice basic palette and I remember that this wasn't that um, expensive. So I decided to get this because it just looks really cool to travel with. I have like a shimmery color right here. Um, and then you have like a nice gorgeous pinky color here. So I decided to get it just purely for um, travel purposes. This one is the Cool Spectrum and it kind of looks similar. Hmm. It looks quite similar to the Pink Spectrum. Uh, maybe it's slightly different. So this is the Cool Spectrum and this is the Warm the pink sorry this is the cool spectrum and this is the pink spectrum so um the cool one is a little bit uh darker it's a little bit um i don't know coral toned i guess um it does still have like a highlight color here which is a little bit shimmery uh, but the cool one the the pink spectrum one this looks a lot more pink here so i know that online they did look pretty different so i decided to get both all right so this i have been waiting for because the Glam Glow um, mask that I have, which is the one in white, uh, we've kind of finished it a couple of weeks ago and we haven't been able to get it in the stores for some reason. So I decided know. it's this one which is the Flash Mud. Um, I, read, I read the descriptions of the others that they have there and I felt that this kind of fit what we wanted a lot more because we both have um, oily skin we kind of just need something to just clean the skin and brighten up and the rest were kind of like exfoliating and whatnot and this is the little bottle in there Let's see it's an illuminating cream it brightens radiance 
evens out skin tones correct so the white one if I'm not mistaken does a little bit more with acne and all that which is what I would prefer to deal with but this was like the closest thing that I could get it's kind of like um, a whitish kind of cream um, it looks really interesting I think I've tried like a sample size of this it smells really nice. It smells a little bit orangey. I don't know. Next, I got another bottle of the Instant Nail Polish Remover for Glitter. And this is what I've been using non-stop um, to clean up my nails. Um, it's just really, really easy. I think each bottle will last you like, you know, three months maybe if you like clean your nails every week um, and this is just great because all you have to do is put your nails in there um, mm -hmm. and kind of like just wait for like one two seconds and then you take it out and it's like completely removed sometimes you still need to use like the good old way of using like cotton bud and all that for the sides of it because sometimes it doesn't get like the sides of the nails really well but most of the times it does do the job really well we are on to the last package which looks like it's probably the most interesting package so I'm pretty excited all right the other item is a nail related item it's a Sephora um, item I haven't seen this in the stores before but I saw it online and I'm like oh my god that looks pretty pretty cool so this is how it looks like it's a smart roller and it I think it's like a decal for your nails so, so you're supposed to pull off this item here right now it has like a little um, leopard print, leopard print kind of design, if you can see there. And you're supposed and to kind of just put it onto your nails and just paint over it and then after that you can take the uh, decal off. And yes. A lot of different designs, um, it's kind of like a surprise kind of design. So it's pretty cool. Item from Philosophy and it's a moisturizing lip treatment and Kiss Me Tonight, their moisturizing lip treatment and it got like really nice reviews so I thought I would check it out. It comes in a very nice little bottle like this. It reminds me of like paint pot and um, or something from Inglot actually. So that's how it looks like. It comes in a nice little plastic jar and the little, um, it looks like Vaseline actually doesn't have any smell so I think you're just basically supposed to put this on your lips and then you know sleep through the night and your lips would be able to look a lot fresher so you know we usually put stuff like on our faces under our eyes and all that so why not take care of the lips as well so it's a moisturizing lip treatment Let's it conditions and soothes dry cracked lips and it restores it to a healthy rosy appearance of the lips. So um, I got a Tarte lip paint. Um, I saw this on in Sephora today at the store uh, uh, but they only had the glossy ones but online they actually had the matte ones and got this one which is TBT, Throwback Thursday maybe. So I guess it's kind of like a brand that they have like the Tartis uh, refer to the um, lip stuff that they have and then they have the tartlets which is for the eyes oh it's pretty it's very very mm, it smells like mint you know what it smells like it actually smells like the glam glow mud that i used to use the white one it has a very nice minty scent and ooh, it's pretty it's so pretty this is so my color. This is like my kind of nude. Very, very pretty. I see that it's already kind of like gratifying right before my eyes. I can't wait to try this out. My brush set. Okay, so I got one brush from mm. Zoeva. Ah, okay, I know why I got this. So this is like, I got a single brush from Zoeva. Is that how you pronounce it in the first place? Yeah, Zoeva. So I got this one. It's a fan brush. I have a fan brush from e.l.f. which I use to kind of just get rid of any glitter or any fallouts from my makeup. I want but to get a proper one so that I could use it to apply highlight on my skin. So like a really thick proper one. So I get this. This is the 129 Lux fan and I love how it came with its own little freaking bag. Like, this is so freaking cool. You could use this to travel with your brushes or I just think it's very classy for them to put that in that packaging. It looks like this. It is pretty. It is quite fluffy. 
so it's thick enough I guess I want it to be thick enough for me to put like a little bit of highlight right here and right here and right here okay so on to this item here um, it's a very popular and little famous item from Zoeva they are actually really known for their palettes as well as their brushes so this is the rose gold collection the rose gold complete eye set the german makeup brush and color cosmetic company that leaves blah blah, blah. It comes in a case like this it has like the nice rose like dark rose gold color right there and it is the what did it say it was it's the complete brush no complete eye set so all the brushes are in here. So all the brushes have like a nice brown, dark brown sort of stem. It's kind of matte. It's really nice. It has like their little tagline here which says Color Love Makeup. And then you've got the description here, right here, which says this is a 224 Lux Defined Crease. And you have the branding here. And you have the rose, dark rose gold sort of color and the brush. It looks really cool. Um, it looks like it's something that, you know, I can work with. And I've heard many, many good things about the brushes. So I am super excited. I need to do like a brush cleanse thing. Like I need to get rid of a lot of, a lot of brushes that I have, which I no longer use. And then kind of focus on these ones. You've got 24 of them and it's kind of like a mixture of many different shapes. So you've got one which is the petite crease. This will be awesome to kind of do a defined crease. And they all feel, they feel a lot like the MAC uh, brushes actually. And they are a little bit um, more affordable than the MAC ones. And this is a flat crease brush which is really cool. It reminds me of the 217 brush by MAC. It will be interesting to see if they work as well because I do think that they are a lot more affordable than MAC. This is the brow. Ah, nice. This is the eyeliner or the brow kind of um, brush. This is a smoky shader. It's really cool. It's like a, kind of a flat one. This is a wing liner uh, brush. It's kind of angled like that. So that's pretty cool. A pencil brush. Very, very nice. Nice, nice tip. And a concealer buffer. Oh, I love this. This is really good because um, one of my favorite new techniques that I've learned to apply my concealer is instead of using my hands or sponge, I actually like to take a, a straight up like eyeshadow brush, crease or a shadow brush and just kind of use that. So this is really cool because it will help me to kind of apply the concealer. So, oh, it's so soft. Um, next is a crease brush, so this is really really nice, it's kind of like a nice shape and I can think of many ways to use this. Um, a detailed shader brush which is awesome, this looks a lot like my Inglot brush which I use to apply pigments with and you can definitely use this to kind of just uh, put stuff on the lids as well. And then an angled eyeliner brush, nice, it's a filler brush and I love using this kind of angled. Again, I have uh, something similar from Inglot, so I really like use, using this to apply my gel liner. And last but not least, a smudger, which is awesome to smudge out anything on the upper lash line or the lower lash line. So it's really nice, I think this is a really nice um, brush set. A lot of the times when there's like different sets that brands come up with either like the very good brands uh, like MAC or whatever. I've seen brush sets that just do not make sense because they are just not, I don't know, they just, when you see them, you know, if you don't really know makeup, you might think, oh, is it going to help me? And it does do like very basic stuff. If you're really going to get serious about makeup and about eyes, um, these are the kind of sets that I really enjoy. This is like probably the first eyeshadow like I set that I've come across that you can literally use every single one for a specific purpose and would actually value add to your look. A lot of, this is a good set to invest. Another good set would be like the Sigma set, are really nice as well. And BH Cosmetics has some nice um, sets for you to check out if you want to. So, so yeah, that all goes into here, which is perfect. I love traveling with my brushes and I can put it all in here and it will be so nice. It's so pretty. Ooh, yeah. Right, so that's that's basically it. Those are the items that I got, I think, yes. Those items I got from the black card or the 20% off sale that happened recently. It was uh, quite fun and it's definitely worth um, checking out, um, checking this sale out online. 
I wasn't about to go to the store and like fight with everybody for all the different things and I'm glad that I've managed to get things that I've always wanted to try out oh. online so yeah the online store is not bad you do get stuff that you don't get in the stores which is pretty awesome so I hope you enjoyed this haul if you have any questions uh, as usual comments down below and as usual don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one bye